Welcome to Digital SAT Deep Dive. My name is Vince. Let's get straight into this question. So if we look at the question itself, as we always do first, we got the logically completes. So we have to be logical. We have to think a little bit. It's usually not very much, but just keep in mind, we're not like looking for an answer in the text. We're actually thinking about the text. So as always, we're going to try to predict the answer before we look at the choices. So let's read the passage first, and I'll read it out loud so we can all get on the same page here. Birds of many species ingest foods containing carotenoids, pigmented molecules that are converted into feather coloration. Coloration tends to be especially saturated in male birds' feathers, and because carotenoids also confer health benefits, the deeply saturated colors generally serve to communicate what is known as an honest signal of a bird's overall fitness to potential mates. However, now we always want to kind of perk up our ears when we see the however, because a shift usually means we're shifting to something different or important. Orthonologist Allison Schultz and others have found that males in several species of the tanager genus, Ramphophyceles, use microstructures in their feathers to manipulate light, creating the appearance of deeper saturation without the birds necessarily having to maintain a carotenoid-rich diet. These findings suggest. So we know a fact about carotenoids in the beginning. We're like, okay, they're pigmented molecules. They're, they show health benefits. They're from food. So you, have, you probably, just like I do, have some ideas bouncing around in your head about what these things are. It's more to know that you don't have to memorize exactly what it is. Now, then we shift to Allison, right? And they've found that basically certain birds can create the appearance of this without eating the food. So it's kind of like appearance, you know, not reality. So what did the findings suggest? This is typically where we want to be like, all right, um, let's think a little bit logically, but let's base our logic in the findings themselves. What literally did they find? They created the appearance of the saturation without the birds actually eating it. So we're going to be looking for something like that in terms of our answer choices. We're predicting that the answer is going to have something to do with these birds are able to fake it basically, right? Without eating the food. And the, the good news is the logical leap on the SAT is not going to be very far away from, you know, what the study found. And I think you'll have to think a little bit, but not too much. So let's look at each choice piece by piece and make sure we can get this right. Which choice completes the text? Okay. What about A? Individual male tanagers can engage in honest signaling without relying on carotenoid consumption. Now, this is pretty close to the finding because we knew that the birds didn't actually eat the carotenoids. But you might remember this honest thing. Is it honest? Didn't we just kind of say it was faking it? And if we go back and look for that keyword in the passage, where did we read about honest? Oh, yeah, we read about honest up here. Honest is when they actually were eating the carotenoids. So that's like directly kind of contradicting the finding. So we're going to eliminate A. What about B? Feather microstructures may be less effective than deeply saturated feathers for signaling overall fitness. Now, the finding basically told us, if we remember, the birds are faking it. They're just pretending basically that they have the saturation from the carotenoids. But it didn't say anything about its effectiveness. And since the study didn't say anything about its effectiveness, we can't pick B. That would be speculating, and we don't want to speculate. In real life, we might speculate that way and be like, hey, those birds that are faking it, how can they be as good as the real bird, you know, with the actually ate the food? Maybe in real life, in here, we only can really go with what the study told us. So C or B is not going to work. What about C? Scientists have yet to determine why tanagers have a preference for mates with colorful appearances. This is just nothing to do with anything. It's like the study is about the carotenoids and the, the feather appearance. Uh, this is kind of like a totally off topic choice. You know, it's maybe an interesting puzzle to solve or an interesting question to ask, but it isn't really related to the findings at all. 
Um, it's just something that maybe we would want to know why they prefer the colorful mates, but nothing to do with the finding of this sort of manipulating light. That leaves us with D, which is correct. And let's think about this. A male tanager's appearance may function as a dishonest signal of the individual's overall fitness. So let's break this down in case it doesn't click right away for you. Dishonest. Well, we did kind of just earlier say the bird was faking it, and we said the bird was faking it because it didn't eat the carotenoids, and it's still you know having this appearance that it did. So that's kind of dishonest, to be honest, <laughs> right? So, and is it a dishonest signal of the individual's overall fitness? To remember that part, you may have to reread the part in the beginning that talked about the carotenoids on a signal is of the bird's fitness because they convey health benefits. So the honest carotenoid bird is showing its fitness, whereas the bird, if a bird is faking it, then their appearance of fitness may be dishonest, right? Because they're just, you know, pretending to have eaten the carotenoids in, in terms of its appearance. So we do have to think a little bit to get there, but I think we, um, hopefully that makes sense. And notice with each wrong answer choice, we came up with a particular reason it's wrong. This is what we like to do when we study the test to kind of see how the choice is attractive to us, but still wrong. You know, at the end of the day, there's always a reason it's wrong if it is wrong. So be careful when you're working on this type of question, but increase your precision by doing them carefully. And soon you'll be able to do this quite a bit faster.